What is up, y'all? It's your boy KK back for a Thursday Thursday talk. Today is March 2nd. For those that don't know, or you're just scrolling across my video for the first time ever, my girlfriend, best friend, partner, and better half passed away on January 13th, 2023. So tomorrow will mark seven weeks since she has um, passed away. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and um, I finally found well enough to do a Thursday Thursday talk and I kind of wanted to dedicate it to um, talk about our last um, Wednesday night and uh, Thursday together. Um, also drinking uh, Strongbow um, Gold Apple Hard Ciders. Um, Leanne uh, discovered this. Um, we went to a soccer game in the in the, the summertime, and they had this on draft, and she really liked it. We finally found a place right down the road from us that carried it. Um, so I'm drinking this in honor of Leanne. Um, 5% alcohol, 172 calories, 19 grams carbs. Um, this is a product of the United Kingdom, so cheers, baby. I don't drink um, ciders a lot, but if you want alcohol, apple juice, cheers. Um, like I said, this is for you, baby. Okay, so um, also, yeah, it, it's good. <laughs> Try it. All right, so, um, so Wednesday, this would be January 11th. Um, throughout the day we were talking about like what we were going to do for dinner. Like both of us didn't really feel like cooking and, um, we decided that we were just going to go out to eat. Um, we decided to go to Texas Roadhouse. It's right down, uh, the road from where we live and it was just very convenient. And, uh, I got a, ste a steak with two sides. She got ribs. Um, we got our fair share of, um, the butter rolls and, and the cinnamon butter, which are fantastic. Um, Leanne left a pretty good tip because we got a bunch of rolls. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, Leanne then mentioned that her Wednesday was a really long um, and hard day. And she was thinking about getting a drink. She offered that I could get a drink. Um, we both didn't drink. I don't think either of us drank that night either. I know I didn't. Uh, I think we watched more Yellowstone when we got back. But Thursday, you know, one thing that was really nice about Leanne and I's work schedule is our days off. I had Thursdays off. She had Thursdays off. Um, so we had a whole day and night together and I'm forever grateful for that. Um, you know, Thursday morning, you know, we we thought about going to Shady Maple cause they had like a buy one, get one free uh, breakfast special during that week. But I read the reviews of like on Facebook, the comments, and it was like chaos. It was like, yeah, we don't need that. So uh, we actually had breakfast at home. We had um, pancakes, we had bacon, we had eggs, and we had with bourbon infused coffee. So it was a quite delicious meal. Uh, Leanne went and got her nails done. I did stuff around the house when we got back home. Um, and when she got back home, then we went off on our day adventure and we the first stop was lunch at Fuddruckers which was uh delicious and then we went to um the box office where the Hershey Bears play in the American Hockey League they're affiliates with the Washington Capitals and we bought three games a uh, pair of t tickets um to look forward to going to and then um on the way home we did uh errands so we stopped I got had to get gas for my car we went to the grocery store we went to the bear store, went to the liquor, liquor store, went to all these different places. Um, had a relaxing night at home. We watched more Yellowstone. Um, it was just like any other uh, Thursday night, you know, and then it was just like bedtime. And then we go to bed and Friday comes along and I wake up uh, for work. And Lan wanted me to always kiss her on her forehead um, before I left for the day. And I always like played around with like, you know, I'm like bye and not kiss her. And she's like, 
no no kiss me and so yeah we that was the whole spill on friday um and then um left the room and then it came back in for something and then i don't really remember our exchange um other than mumbled words um and then we were gonna you know liam was gonna make uh dinner uh homemade meal for us on friday night and um because we had potatoes that i guess you could say were on the last end of its sprout they were just no, they weren't bad, like, you couldn't eat them, but they're definitely, like, on their last sprout. And I finally figured out, like, what to, what to, um, what meat I wanted to go with it. And it's, like, New Year's, New Year's Day, it's a tradition. We have, like, sauerkraut and sausage and mashed potatoes and stuff like that. So I figured it out, the meat, and she said, you know, you know, let me know when you get home, roughly, so I can plan for it to be ready when you get home, showered and all that. Um, and that's the last I heard from her was 11 a.m. Uh, via text messages. Um, so, um, yeah, it does really suck. Um, you know, I'm just super grateful we had a great Wednesday night. We had a great Thursday night. Um, but I'm lo looking down at my phone. Just so I don't, like, mess things up. But anyway, um, yeah, I think Friday the 13th, when I found out at nighttime, and then the Saturday and Sunday were, like, the hardest days. Um, and then the first two weeks after also were really hard. Um, the January 28th was a Saturday. I remember I was feeling better, and I kind of felt bad that I was feeling better because, like, I shouldn't be feeling better. Um, kind of really hard to explain, and when I've explained to other people, it's completely normal to feel what I was feeling. Also, um, you see me what I'm wearing. Um, this is a uh, Leanne's jacket that will now be mine. Um, it is super, it's, it's like a longer jacket, but it's super comfortable. Um, also, um, I never watched Grey's Anatomy, um, but... Uh, this is one of the shirts that, or sweatshirts that Leanne would wear frequently, so, um, definitely wearing it, um, for Leanne, and I can always have her, um, on me. Um, anyway, I'll just briefly just go through some stuff, um, that I've experienced from this and still have. I mean, it's the shock, you know, there, it's still doesn't feel real. She was just here and with a snap of the finger, she's not. It's just, it's hard to accept it. I've accepted it, but it's really hard to, and it just doesn't, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be like this. Shalane should still be here today. She should still be doing life with me. She should still be doing life for, and have all those connections with her family, friends, coworkers, everything. It shouldn't be like this at all. Um, of course, I have regrets. I feel guilt. I have sadness. I feel angry. You know, um, I'm not going to open up. I think that'll be a different um, talk maybe I'll get into. Or maybe it'll stay with me. More of my emotions of why I feel what I feel. Um, but anyway, like I said, I just wanted to make a video for me to look back on. And and, um, and maybe people that are watching, family, friends, uh, co-workers of hers or whatever, you can hear kind of what our final, you know, Wednesday night and Thursday were, was, because I'm, I'm truly grateful that we had a great, great time um, before, before, uh, yeah, Friday happened. Um, but anyway, um, I just want to say, I hope you all are doing well. And um, also, thank you so much for um, family, friends, coworkers, strangers who've just have given their sympathy to me uh my my family Lance family it has been very much appreciated um and also that i hope like i said y'all are doing well i hope you have a um a good weekend and also i just want to give a little birthday shout out to my best friend aj so happy birthday we'll be celebrating later on 
But anyway, cheers. Again, this is for you, Leanne.